Can someone who becomes a US citizen lose their citizenship? The answer is yes. There are a few different reasons why this might happen, and the process of taking away citizenship is called denaturalization. In this video, we are going to explain four key reasons why someone might lose their US citizenship. This topic is important because, in recent years, the Department of Justice created a special division to handle denaturalization cases, and we've seen a significant rise in the number of people losing their citizenship. So, stay with me, and if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Let's start by going through the four main reasons why someone might have their citizenship revoked. 1. Illegal naturalization. The first reason is if a person was not legally eligible to become a citizen in the first place. U.S. citizenship requires that you meet several specific criteria, such as being at least 18 years old, having a green card for a certain period, and living continuously in the U.S. for a required number of years. If someone didn't meet all these requirements but still managed to become a citizen, their citizenship can be revoked because it was obtained illegally. For example, if someone lied about how long they had lived in the U.S. to meet the residency requirement, they might face denaturalization. 2. Misrepresentation or concealment. The second reason is if someone deliberately lies or hides important information during the naturalization process. This could happen in two ways, either by giving false information or by failing to disclose something that's required on their naturalization application or during their interview. For instance, if someone lies about their criminal history or omits it completely, and that information is later discovered, their citizenship could be revoked. It's important to note that even leaving out details, known as omissions, can lead to denaturalization if those details were significant enough to affect the person's eligibility for citizenship. 3. Membership in certain organizations. The third reason relates to membership in certain groups. If within five years of becoming a U.S. citizen, a person joins or becomes affiliated with the Communist Party, another totalitarian party, or a terrorist organization, they could lose their citizenship. This rule exists because such affiliations are seen as a serious threat to U.S. national security and are in direct conflict with the principles of U.S. citizenship. The government takes this very seriously, and being involved with these organizations can quickly lead to denaturalization. 4. Dishonorable military discharge. The fourth reason applies specifically to people who gained their U.S. citizenship through military service. If someone becomes a U.S. citizen because of their honorable service in the armed forces but then receives a dishonorable discharge within five years of their naturalization, their citizenship could be revoked. This situation is more specific and mostly affects those who used their military service as the basis for their naturalization. The government considers a dishonorable discharge as a breach of the commitment that earned them citizenship, which is why it can lead to denaturalization. To recap, we've discussed four reasons why someone might lose their U.S. citizenship. Illegal naturalization, lying or hiding information during the naturalization process, joining certain organizations within five years of becoming a citizen, and receiving a dishonorable discharge from the military after becoming a citizen through service. Understanding these reasons is crucial, especially given the increasing number of denaturalization cases. I hope this video gives you a clearer picture of how and why someone might lose their U.S. citizenship. If you want to avoid denaturalization, here is a detailed video through which you can learn top 7 crucial things you should do right after becoming a U.S. citizen.